Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and welcome to today's video where we're going to be having a look at a couple of new and exciting JavaScript array methods. Now, all of these are going to be really helpful for you guys and they're available in Node.js 20 or above. So make sure you have at least version 20 of Node.js before, uh, you know, trying out this code. Uh, or alternatively, make sure your browser is up to date. If you want a quick uh, way to upgrade your Node.js version, I've got a video linked in the top right corner of this one to do just that. But let's jump into these new array methods. Okay, right here, I've got a list of names, Dom, Sarah, Bob, Michael, and Jen. Let's write a sort function to sort these names from the longest length to the shortest length. Now, this here is going to be, you know, pretty self-explanatory. We can say something such as names.sort and then take through here the comparison function. We're going to accept A and B for the names and then simply uh, have some code such as uh, if a.length is equal to b.length, then of course the names are the same length, so no difference. We can return a value of zero. Otherwise, we can just say return if a.length is more than b.length, we can then return negative one, otherwise return one. So this here is of course gonna sort those names from longest to shortest. I can now say console.log the names array after this operation. And we can see here that of course we get the results that we expected, Michael, Sarah, Dom, Bob, and Jen. So this here works, however, one of the most important details to uh, pick up on here is that the sort method has actually modified the original array reference, okay? So the array in memory, which we created up here, has been modified by the sort method as opposed to something such as the map method or filter, which creates a new array after the operation has been completed. So this is known as being an in place modification. So the sort method modifies your array in place. It actually changes it, which is why we didn't need to have a new variable here called something such as name sorted because this is gonna sort the array anyway, okay? Now, you might see where I'm going with this, but these new methods that I'm gonna show you are essentially the copying counterpart of the existing method. So we can actually use this sort function, but make a new array instead of modifying this one in place. Let's change this code to now be const names sorted is equal to, and then change this method from sort to to sorted. So to sorted, it's gonna take in the same function, but like I said, it's gonna make a new array instead. I can now console log names and also names sorted because now we have two different arrays. I can say node index.js and now we can see on the first console log, we retain the original names array. The order is the exact same. And below, of course, we then once again have our sorted results from the names sorted. So this here is actually a really good feature and I'm sure it's gonna be used quite a bit in future projects. And like I said at the beginning of this video, this is gonna be available in Node.js 20 or above and in very modern browsers, which means you probably shouldn't use it in the browser just yet, especially for your production environments as you may have compatibility issues. Make sure you get a polyfill um, if you want to use it. On the MDN page, um, if I scroll down here, we can see once again, we have things like, uh, you know, Chrome 110, Edge 110, Firefox 115, Safari 16, and Node.js 20 for, you know, the availability of two sorted. Now, we've also got a couple more to cover, uh, and that is gonna be two spliced and two reversed. It's gonna be the exact same concept. Let's have a quick look at the two spliced method. Let's replace the second name, Sarah, with another name. We're gonna say names sorted, or my mistake. We're just gonna say names here. Names dot 
to spliced. It's going to take an index in like the usual splice method. So I'm going to say one. I'm going to remove a single item. So one, once again, remove Sarah and replace it with something like Ada. Okay. Save this, run the script here. And of course, we now get Ada in that position and it's a new array. So if I console.log the names uh, underneath it, we can see, of course, we still retain the original array with the Sarah in the second position. Okay. The last one to cover here is going to be the two reversed. It's quite self-explanatory here. I'm going to say names dot two reversed and leave it just like that. Save this, run the script again. And of course, like the other examples, we have the reversed array. So the modified array or the new one, should I say. And of course, we retain the old original array because this one here does not modify in place. So those are the new JavaScript array methods. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.